cutie. Huh? Just a cutie. She's a cutie, fool. Too good. They said it's a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> She's dragging something. We'll take Max. So guys, I have more good news. I just got these new seats for the truck. They're off of the like the 97 and above, I think, or the 98s. I think it's 97, yeah, 97 and up. S10s. They're the newer ones. They're great condition. Look, right here, there's like a little stain right here, but that's about it. They're not ripped at all whatsoever. They're still good. That thing could come off. I'm gonna clean them probably, or I'll probably just drop them in like that because they're honestly pretty clean. So I got them. I got them for a good deal. I got both of the both both of them for 50 bucks. So that's a great deal, and it's a big upgrade to my style with the ones I have. Cause for one, I got the newer style ones in here, which I like better than these ones. And then two, you know, I'll be able to fucking get rid of that big ass fucking rip. So what we're doing right now is taking the seats off. One of these. I'm pretty sure I can get this one with the. So I have this one on. Well, I have on both of them, but I need to do a little bit of fab work for both of them. So for the driver's side, these all go in. Third one as well. But the fourth one, the fourth bolt over here, isn't gonna be able to see that much. It, it doesn't line up. Let's see. All right, the bracket's right there. It just doesn't line up with the. Let me see. All right. So let's see if I can show you guys. Alright. So you see, you guys see that little like right there, that's the screw. And the bracket's like back there. So that doesn't line up. So what I'm thinking about doing it's clear it's not hitting like the the um the seat at all. So like it doesn't stop it from from me bolting it down. But what I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um make a hole to the bottom of the cab to where the other bolt is lining up and then get um get a a bolt and then uh so what i'll probably do is this i'll probably get like something maybe like this right make my own stud put it up there make the hole put it up there and then get and then get one of these right here and then put it through the top like that so it would be like this kind of let me, let me focus this so it'd be like that you know like this, and then I basically make my own, like I relocate um, the the stud. Not not the safest thing, but at least I have three of them already uh, bolted up, and I'll have at least something extra for secureness. The fourth one, even though it's not like the stock one, not the factory, but that's kind of what they did with these, except they use different types of bolts. They use something more. Yeah, they used. Let's hold up. Where's it at? Right there. Same shit, same concept. But that's what we're gonna do. For this side, it's a little harder. Same thing's happening. The third bolt isn't lining up. I mean, the fourth. But 
that one is getting in the way of the seat so it's like hitting the seat a little bit so once i try to bolt it down it, it'll probably you know hit the seat and won't let it drop like come through back down so i need to figure that out so if i can't find a way to clear it i'll probably cut it off like cut it you know as much as i can and then let's do the same thing tap in another one and another thing that i was saying what I put my flashlight, I always lose that shit. But anyways, the other thing I was saying is, so these are the stock, the OEM uh, seat belts. They, right here. They were in the way of me putting the seat in. So, um, <clears throat> I had to take them off and they already come, these already come with, with seat belts. So, I, and I have an extra <laughs> seat belt right there because there should have been a seat in the middle. But I'm deleting that. There's not going to be no seat in the middle. So, yeah, and then this is kind of what it'll look like afterwards. Oh, shit, my brother left. Because my brother has a, a S10 as well, but like the, I think it's a 98 or something, 99, around there. Except he has a center console. But I think what I'm planning on doing here is I could do a couple things. Maybe make it as like a, well, maybe get, a, maybe get the center console that I need and put it there, or... I don't know. I, I, I could do a lot of things with that space. I could leave it empty. Um, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of things that I could get done right there. Put a nitrous bottle. Just kidding. Um, no, but there there is space for a lot of things there. And once these are in, all I need would be the carpet. A great carpet, which I'm planning on getting, and then the the dash as well, and probably the the door panels too, because these door panels are pretty effed up. Look. I think this is this is broken or I might keep them just clean them up and then I don't know I'll probably get the ones from the newer one models as well but that's kind of what's going on with that so I'll get back to you guys once I bolt this one down and then once I bolt this one down and then I'll probably make this happen um, new stud a different day because I'm losing light and I need to go I'm gonna go rest since I got some work I put the seats in one thing I did have to do is some fab work. Um, that one, all three of the bolts bolted up perfectly fine with no work. The third one, I mean the fourth one though, I had to drill my own hole. Not the safest thing to do, but I was able to take care of that. This one, two of them did line up perfectly. The third one could have lined up if I forced the bracket, but I just didn't really want to do all that. So I just added, like I said, another two extra holes. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> put like my own studs, I guess you could say. It's not the safest thing to do or the most perfect thing to do, but I did with what I got. And it took care of the job, at least for now. Uh, I do plan on just rewriting, making the truck street, a street truck for a bit. Who knows what will happen down the road. You know, down the road I'll probably get better seats and probably take off the passenger seat. I don't know, but for now, that's fine. But there it is, 98 style seats. <laughs> you can't even see, so dirty. But 98 style seats on a 95. It is doable some type of modification you have to do but i mean it is doable it looks clean makes the truck look way better than my older seats look at that all ripped up that style older style I, i'm not hitting on that style but i like this style better so it makes it look all more clean next is door panels probably next is door panels probably and then i was gonna go ahead and try to do the dash as well but um, I don't know. Just too much, too much work. Too much work. I don't even. I'm not even done with the truck, and I'm already trying to get more work put into it. So we'll have to wait and see for that. But for now, we're fine. I uh, one thing I do want to also change mandatory are the mirrors. They are pretty fucking ugly. I don't like them. I'm gonna get the smaller ones. Cause let's see, let me watch. Let me stick it out. Yeah, that doesn't look cool. <laughs> so I'll probably get the smaller, the smaller ones, and then that'll take care of that. I'll get myself a nice little cow hood, and that'll probably be it for outside mods. And then you know, just probably that's about it. I'm more worried about the performance-wise of the truck, but that's pretty much it. This is going to be a pretty long video. I hope you guys stayed for mostly all of it. I kind of put like three days worth of clips, I guess. 
in one video. That's why it's so long. But I mean, I had a good time. I'm, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the videos. And if you guys did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, share with all your friends. I'll be posting a lot of things on how I do all this stuff. If anybody's is interested, and uh, you know, just a whole bunch of different stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.